What's going on guys, Marksman Exciter here, back with another video, and today I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to see how the Ultra Boost ST performs um, as a runner. Uh, a viewer down in the comment section of my last video had requested this video, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it because it seems like a good idea, and there are probably people out there who actually do care about this stuff. So might as well show you guys how it works, right? Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to my apartment complex's gym and I'm gonna run on the treadmill for two miles. I know that's really not too much of like a, a test environment or something, but I mean, I, I don't know how to run. Um, I don't do any sports, so I don't really know. I'm basically just gonna run on the treadmill for two miles and like let my lungs die and then give you guys a overall review. Um, but yeah, so go ahead and uh, if you have any questions about the shoe um, after I'm done with the overall review, go ahead and comment down below um, and I will see you guys when I'm back. What is up? So uh, I've done a mile of running on the treadmill um, in the Ultra Boosts. Um, still see, so got a mile in right now. It's counting a little bit more too, but got a mile in so far. Um, I am extremely tired because I don't run. Um, and when I did run, I was like at eight miles per hour, but now I'm walking, so 2.6. But um, the shoes feel great. Um, I feel a great responsiveness and uh, there's a little cutout sort of in the heel for stability that I'll show you guys uh, when I get back home uh, that is actually really helping and I'm glad that it has been designed like that because it's kind of chiseled and designed for um, that point of impact so it's really comfortable the boost is amazing uh, the prime knit is very not very breathable but it's not irritating my skin so it is very comfortable um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get another mile in and then I'll tell you guys how I feel about the shoe um, when I'm back in my room. See you there. And we're back. Um, now let's talk about the performance of these shoes for a minute. So um, this shoe, it actually works pretty great. Um, I kind of think I can see a little bit of wear on the sole a little bit, but um, not too much. It is continental rubber, so it will last for a while anyway. Um, so what I was talking about when I was on the treadmill though, about a cutout in the heel, is uh, you might be able to see it, but on the back right there, it's kind of arched and angled so that when you when your foot impacts the ground at the more natural angle it hits here first and then it rolls out um, I know it sounds crazy but if you've worn an ultra boost you probably know what I'm talking about but if you haven't then you'll just have to take my word for it uh, but that is where the point of impact is supposed to be that's where the most natural point of your foot hitting the ground is going to be at um, now, the torsion system works great. Uh, I just kind of feel it less after breaking in the shoe. Um, I do like the torsion system a lot and it should not go away, but I just, I feel it less um, after breaking it in. Um, I'm sure it still helps though. Uh, like I certainly, when I wear an NMD, uh, there is a lack of chiseled support there. Um, just the Ultra Boost has it and they don't. Maybe that is the torsion system helping out with that, but I can't tell. Um, when I'm running in these. Now the prime knit, like I said, while I was running, the prime knit is not breathable for me. Um, I know I was inside and in indoor conditions and not in outdoor conditions and that's what the shoe is for. I didn't feel any breathability or anything. My, my feet are like dogs right now. They're just barking. Um, what else do I have to say about it? 
Um, I, I can tell you that just from being at work and wearing these shoes, because that's what I use these shoes for, which is work. I work in a retail environment at a, uh, in the electronics department of a grocery store. Um, when I have to cut between aisles, um, my foot does slide. Uh, so the prime knit being there with not as much structure and more supposed to be breathability and stuff, uh, with not as much structure there, um, you will find yourself, your foot sliding a little bit, but it's not too bad. Just don't go like eight miles an hour when you're running and go downhill and then try to cut because you will probably fall. Um, what else about these shoes? Oh yeah. So what's really nice is the in the insole is actually cupped. So you might be able to see that right there. Uh, here, let me see. So yeah, you might be able to see it, but it is cupped sort of like that. I know this insole is ugly now, but um, the, it, there is a lot of heel stability in there. Um, not nearly as much as you'd find on a uh, regular Ultra Boost. Um, Kind of the idea again with this shoe is the stability aspect of it. That's why it's the Ultra Boost ST. Um, but yeah, really, if you're looking to get this shoe for working out, um, you can't go wrong with it. The only thing is just when you try to cut, um, you'll you'll feel movement in the shoe. Uh, if you're not playing basketball, that's no problem. Which these aren't even basketball shoes; they're just running shoes. But um, I'd highly recommend it. But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys see in the or feel like in the comments section. I saw um, on my last video a couple of people, or one person I saw had told me they ordered it. Um, so I'm excited to see if they come back to the channel, if it works the way I said it should, and what they feel about the shoe. Um, but yeah, with that, I'm gonna let you guys go. And uh, again, yeah, just comment down below um, and let me know what you think of this shoe. Take it easy, guys. Later.